Hi, I'm Phil Bedford and welcome to the Rebel Networker. Have you ever noticed when you're networking that you meet some people and immediately you bond? Other people you meet and you, you really can't stand them. It's just like, get away, you, you annoy me. There's something uncomfortable. We could be losing business hand over fist. So over the next couple of shows, we're going to be looking at behavioral styles and how they can impact your networking. This week, we're going to be looking at the go-getter. So our first behavioral style is the go-getter. And we're going to cover them first because really, it's all about them. Go-getters are goal-orientated. They love to win. There's no such place as second. They're driven. They're very interested in the bottom line. You know, how much money's in it for me? Not really the details. They're quick decision makers. Um, they're fast, very fast paced, and they like tasks. You know, when we watch TV, it's kind of your, the way your Donald Trumps come across, your Simon Cowles. You know, they know what they want. They don't mind upsetting people, and they make it happen. You can recognize these people because they tend to have a very strong handshake, one big pump. They like to look you straight in the eyes because they're confident. They'll often give their first and last name when they're introducing them to, to you. Hi, I'm Phil Bedford. They're direct with everything they do. Their hands will tend to stay inside their body when they're talking and not go out. So they'll often point like this. They tend to like to look good. So it's all branded names, good suits, kerchiefs, maybe a tie. And they'll often wear, for women, they love jewellery. And the jewellery will tend to be all gold or all silver. And again, it's all about looking great and looking like you've got money and power. When we're networking, what we need to do, of course, if you're the opposite to this, is we have to make people more comfortable with us. So we have to bring ourselves up to their level or drop down to whatever energy levels they're on. So with a go-getter, we need to pick up our energy levels. We need to be confident. We need to look at them in the eyes. We need to speed up if we're a slower paced person. Basically, we have to let them feel in there in control of the conversation by asking them questions about them and help to build them up. Ask them questions about, you know, tell me about your successes. Tell me why you're better than your competition. Basically, let them see that they're hitting a goal by, by talking to me, that I am somebody that they need to speak to. So if you're watching this, and you're not a go-getter, you're not going to feel very uh, comfortable with the phrases and the descriptions that we've just made. If you are a go-getter, you're sitting there thinking, hey, this is me. Every style has challenges as much as it has positives. So the challenges for go-getters, they're going to have to realize, because they come across so confident, because they love to argue and then forget it immediately, they can often come across as arrogant, rude, and scary. Now, are those the kind of people that we really want to be connecting to when we've met them for the first time? So if we are a go-getter and we're looking to meet with people who are not the same as us, we're going to need to tone it down a bit and mirror them. So as we go through this, if you think you'd like to know more about what your behavioral style is or how it impacts others, feel free to contact me directly on my email address, which will be coming up now fill at the referral institute mecom and uh, I'll be contacting you directly so we can help you maximize your time networking. Coming up in the next show is the promoter behavioral style.